I want to have a chat with you about something that I've been going through this week. It has something to do with health care. It has something to do with getting major surgery done here in Ecuador. And this is not going to be one of those videos where uh, when you're done watching it, you're going to say, well, gee, I don't want to go to Ecuador. And I'll get started on it in just a minute. Hey. Oh, rock a cheek. Right, Hello there. This week, I made three trips to Puerto Viejo to the SOCA, S O L C A, cancer hospital to take a friend of mine there who's going to have surgery done to have a major cancer problem mitigated, going to have an organ actually removed. And when, when I took him there, I was kind of, I was really shocked to find out that, you know, the, that first place I didn't know that Soka Hospital was a free hospital. I don't know if it's 100% free, but I know that if, you, if you're here in Ecuador and you have cancer and you're on ISS, the government insurance program, and you need to go have surgery done, you're going to have to go to SOCA. I, and I'm going to tell you folks, I'm going to tell you right up front, because you know how I am, I'm, I'm telling it like it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat this stuff like some other YouTubers like to do. Because everybody wants you to think that living in Ecuador is like living in paradise. And I'm here to tell you today that it's not. Okay? It's not paradise. You hear a lot of people talk about how wonderful it is and how great healthcare is and the conditions and some of that is true. But, but I'm telling you folks, the whole, I think the, whole, the message that I have for you in this video is that if you can afford to buy private insurance when you come here, by all means, please do. That's, I, I don't give advice. You know, I don't like to give advice, but I'm advising you today that if you're going to buy health insurance here, buy private insurance. This guy was told in this hospital that he had to have family member or somebody from his family with him 24 7. He had to bring his own water to drink. He was not allowed to bring a cell phone or a laptop or anything of personal value. Nothing. And he was shoved into a room with three other people who were all pre, you know, cancer patients and just had surgery done and they've all been taken care of by family in a ward. This, to me, is not quality health care. I know there are lots and lots of people. That, that hospital is probably packed with hundreds, if not thousands, of patients all under the same conditions. They don't have... I, I went to the restroom in his room, and it, it was the most unsanitary restroom I've ever seen in a hospital. Urine all over the seat. No toilet paper, not even paper towels or any kind of anything to dry your hands off with. So that's free health care through the ISS healthcare system here in Ecuador. That's the reality of coming here and not having enough money to pay for private insurance. Because I know there are some people that are in that posi position. This is what happens when you, if you come here and you are really on a tight budget. Health care and health insurance is not where you want to save money. Okay? Go ahead and spend the extra bucks and get good quality private health care. Talk to my friend Carlos over at Blue Box Insurance. And tell him, tell him that you saw this video and you talked to me and you heard from me that I'm... I don't want to be in that hospital. If I get sick and I have to have 
cancer treatment, I'm leaving this country and going home. Or I'm going to be in a private hospital. I have private insurance. I pay $59 a month for it. It's just for me, for myself. It only gives me $15,000 for the coverage. People say, Don, but Don, why is so little insurance? Well, if, if I have to have really critical care, I want to go back to the States and use the VA and Medicare and where the systems that we have in, the, in North America. That's just my personal choice. I'm not saying that's what you should do, but that's my choice. But I was sickened by what I saw in this hospital and when I had to leave and leave my friend there, I, I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't you know, go back to sleep thinking how much I would hate to have been in his shoes. Fortunately, he's okay. He, he, they had to suspend his surgery for reasons, you know, medical, personal reasons. I'm not going to reveal who this is. It's a friend, okay? The next bat. And he'll go back in June. And I'll tell you, I wish there was some way I could figure out a way to get him in a private hospital and get this taken care of and not have to go through that. If you want to know what it's, what it's like, go to a county hospital in the United States somewhere and just hang out. And you'll see what it's like. And... After seeing this place and knowing that he's not going to have anybody take care of him after his surgery, he'll, he'll, there's a nurse there. I mean, there's, but you know, I saw one or maybe two nurses on this whole floor the other day. Had to take his own water. I think I already mentioned that. And and you need somebody there in case you need medicine. That's what that's that's what they told me. In case you need medicine. You have to have somebody go to the pharmacy or somewhere for you. You're in a freaking hospital. You have to have somebody go and get medicine for you. So I'm sure that I'm going to hear holy hellfire damnation from people in the comment section on this. But I'm folks, you know how I am. I tell it like I see it. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. My message today is when you come here and you want to buy health insurance, get private insurance. Don't screw around with this uh, government insurance stuff. Okay? That's it. That's all I got. Have a good one. Ciao, ciao.